Ooh, boy. Tell you what, today's a bad day for me. I'm at the emergency clinic. Just chilling out front of the shop, getting started for the day with Brandon. We've seen a little Siberian Husky on the side of the road. Just a little puppy. There's all kinds of puppies out there all the time. All pit bulls, all sorts of animals running around, but we stopped and tried to call him in. We don't want him to get hit by a car or anything like that. And this dog let us approach him, me and Brandon. And after we approached him, I picked him up and he seemed like a nice little dog, gorgeous little dog with blue eyes and everything. And uh, my neighbor said, hey, he looked like he got hit by a car. His like his whole like back end is all hanging out. So whew, I had to wrap him up and bring him down to a vet, try to drive him with him in my Lexus. I got a towel wrapped around him in my Lexus. I got pictures actually. He's inside the vet getting treated right now. So I don't have I don't have no video of him. I was trying to drive and get him over here as quick as I could. So I wrap him up in a towel and bring him over to the vet and they're not an emergency vet and the doctor isn't going to be there till nine o'clock so they sent me another 10 miles down the street down the highway during traffic and i got this dog laying on my seat oh my god stressful very stressful he's whining his anus is hanging out i don't like this very much this is not a good day but i hope he survives they're testing him for parvo they're going to try to put it all back together he may need surgery but I don't really care. I mean, I don't, I don't really have, you know, I didn't really plan on spending whatever I have to spend today. But to me, it'd be worth it. I'll sell a speaker or something, pay for it. SMD V1, anybody want to buy one? We're going to fix this guy. I don't care. But anyways, that's what my day is like. I'm just waiting. I'm trying to kill some time while they come out and tell me. And another thing is, is I got four dogs, so if this dog has parvo, then I can't go home until I like bleach myself and everything else. So, fun day. All right, I'll catch up with you guys. I'll let everybody know what happened a little bit later. I'll post pictures. Matter of fact, I can post a picture right now. I'll post one on my Facebook page, the one that you're looking at. Ain't nothing nice, man. I just got back to the shop a few minutes ago. I'm waiting to find out what's going on with this dog. And the neighbor, the neighbor comes over and says that there's a the bin, there's a bin across the street. And right before I found the dog, I guess someone had drove by in a blue and white truck. I don't know who, no license plate or anything like that. Someone drove by in a blue and white truck and threw a bin out of the back of the truck on the side of the road. He didn't put two and two together until a few minutes later when we saw the dog over there. And um, there's another dead dog inside of this bin. Some sick motherfuckers, man. I hope baby survives because baby's gonna get a good life if he does. Look, this is exactly where we found Baby at, right on the side of the road. And this bin just looks like any other piece of trash out on the side of the road because disgusting people leave their shit all over our street all the time. But I'm not going to get into detail, but there's there's another dead puppy inside of this bin right here. It's, it's Baby's brother or Baby's sister or something like that. I don't know. So now I don't even really know what to do. I can't do anything to save that one. I guess I'd call animal control or something to come get it, that poor thing. It's a fucking sick world we live in. I'm gonna save that dog though. I'm gonna save his brother. We're gonna fix him up. I'm hoping he's gonna make it.
Oh, we're almost brand new, huh? You feeling good? You feeling good? They put you back together? He's a pretty dog, huh? Yes, he is. He's a pretty one. He's a good dog. We're going to take good care of you. Huh? Rocky going to take good care of him, too? Yeah, huh? Where are you going? This dog is incredibly spunky for someone who went through what he went through today. That's good though. Oh, well, you got some fleas. We probably got to get rid of them, huh? Like, dang, what do I do about these fleas? We'll get rid of them. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, he's in bad shape. Don't. I don't know if he's supposed to be licking that or what. No. So far, his name is Baby. I named him Baby because I probably called him that 500 times on the way to the vet this morning. I was just like, I was out of it. I was losing my mind. I'd never seen an injury like that before. And I think the vet said it was more common than I think it is. But I was, yeah, it was a long drive to two different vets to get him fixed. And I must have called him Baby more times than, I don't know, than I called a baby a baby. So that's his name for right now. Oh, huh, baby, come here. He's a good dog. He's going to have a good life. Yes, he is. He's going to have a good life. I'm beyond belief the way this dog looks right now compared to earlier today. Unless you've seen it in real life. I mean, I picked this dog up because he was sitting there on, on the gravel on the side of the road. I'm like, man, this dog, he's skinny, he's hungry, he's full of fleas or something. And then someone's like, he looks like he got hit by a car, look. And I look down, and them guts are hanging out of the back. And I, I pretty much lost it right there. So, yeah. For him to be walking around the way he is right now is ridiculous. I would never have guessed it. So we got some heartworm medicine for him. We got all kinds of, like, little stuff for his little surgery he had today. Make him feel better. Lots of soft food and some water for him. And just like the other rescue dogs that we got, it won't be a matter of time before he's fat and happy. Yeah, I do want to find him a good home, but it's going to be hard to let him go after the way our day went together. We, Me and him went through it together. It was drama. So, but the good news is that he didn't get anything all over my seat. I had him in the Lexus, and I'm over here trying to hit the paddles and shift. And I'm using my other hand, trying to hold him with the other and try not to get slime all over my suede seats. But he's good. He's in. He didn't get nothing on my seat. He knows what's up. Actually, on the way to the vet, he was rolling on his side trying to get a belly rub. I'm like, settle down. No belly rubs. You got, you got issues. I did give him a belly rub. I'm sorry. I did. But it wasn't the time. So yesterday when I made that video showing the bin with the dead dog in it the dog that the same dog that my dog my new dog baby was found with the bin was right over here so i come back to the shop the next day and this bin has moved 50 feet over here to the middle of the field and I'm gonna shoot what's inside of this bin right, right here only for evidence purposes dog that I have clawed his way out of here. Poor guy.
of it. Do the baby. Can I have it? Frank, can I have it? Can Daddy have it? Can Daddy have it? <laughs> can Daddy have it? <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> Is that good or what? You feeling better? No. Are you feeling better? No. doing in there just dig a random hole what's that Camping. Yeah. Baby first camping trip. <laughs> hey, look at the hair on his arm is probably starting to grow back. Look at this dog. Here's your baby update. <laughs> He's about 19 pounds already. Oh. Hey, my baby. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> See if my dog missed me or not. <laughs> Maybe out there playing in the rain. Chickens and tap in with the green wings. I get in my 
Okay. Right, Fluffy McFlefferson. Hello, baby. Baby. Shop dog having a hard time chewing through that thing. You've been biting the shit out of it too. Here you go. What are you doing, silly dog? Bring here. Can I have it? <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? Go get it. Give me that. <laughs> That's how we do it at the shop. Baby, what did you do? Why did you do that?